revealed recordings, um, they do like 30 second previews. It's, a, it's like one of the biggest uh, EDM music labels uh, in UK. So they use ManyChat to broadcast to their audience like 30 second uh, sneak previews of the upcoming singles, like every week. So they did three broadcasts in three weeks. Uh, so not quite like Emoji Health, not like two times a day, one time a week. Um, they've sent 18,000 messages. The open rates, the fans love it. The open rates are 88%, but guess like how many people actually clicked to listen to the 30 second preview on SoundCloud? 13%. It's 56%. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. And so, and I had to recheck that data because I, I didn't believe that, like, that was me. For this event, we decided to do uh, our first live podcast. Um, and so I'd like to invite to the stage Mike Yang, the CEO of ManyChat which is uh, one of the most exciting marketing companies in the world today. Let's, uh, let's give it a hand for Mike. The long walk. Hey, guys. So, cool. So first, Mike, tell me, what is ManyChat? Um, MainShed is a messenger marketing platform, and what we do is we help businesses market, sell, and support through Facebook Messenger. And the reason to do that is uh, that you get 80% open rates and often over 10%, 20% CTRs. That's inc so let's back up for a second here. Yeah. Let's talk about messenger marketing and what it means in the sort of whole marketing ecosystem at that point. Describe that a little bit. So. Messenger is a very popular app used by over a billion people every month, and it's, it's the new communication channel. And a year ago, Facebook opened up the API for third-party developers to basically integrate with it and to build uh, what is called chatbots or bots. And the way you use them is kind of like the same as any other communication channel. You gather a list of your subscribers, you broadcast interactive content, and uh, you convert people into sales. Very interesting. So you have a very pro provocative title of, your, of uh, this, this thing here, which is very good. <laughs> e did you guys know this? Email is dead. Uh, I don't know if you've received any iStack emails, but, but, uh, but apparently it's dead. Tell us, tell us why. So yeah, the title is provocative, and it's meant to be so. Like We believe that email obviously is not that it's it's going to stick around for a while but uh, messenger like if you look at how you communicate with your friends now it's all messenger it's even at work it's slack and uh, it's going to be the same in the next 3 4 5 years 80% of the business to customer communication is going to be on messenger or any mess like not only facebook messenger whatsapp viber telegram etc and uh, basically, the num like the ratio will be like li right now. Email is a dominant channel for communication, and in five years, it's, it's going to be like ten percent. So basically, as good as that. So, like we have a quick demo. If anyone wants to actually feel what a messenger marketing is, what's what's like how it feels like, you can go to manchat.com/awe, um, and you need to press the. Uh, open messenger app button and you'll get the actual automation and you'll see like how what what you can build it's much more easier to actually feel it uh to see it for yourself than to actually describe it like hey it's a new thing you all should use it etc yeah so yeah. talk like just talk a little bit about the, the structure of what many chat brings to the table when it comes to messenger marketing? Like, I guess it's, is it's not really an accessible technology if you're just gonna, you'd have to build on the messenger API or something if we didn't use your product? Yes, yeah, so the alternative to using a platform like ours is to like hire developers and to integrate with the APIs yourself, which is kind of like trying to build MailChimp from scratch if you want to set broadcast email. Of course you can do it, but like, why, why would you? Why, why not pay like $10 to MailChimp and like broadcast email. 
Uh, so we are doing the same that MailChimp has done for email. Uh, ManyChat is doing for Messenger. We help you like gather subscribers, broadcast interactive content, do live chat. I can like uh, I have a few slides. Like what's a bot? It's like people say it's an application delivered through a conversational interface. That's like that's not what we are talking about. We define a bot as a just a business account inside a messaging app because like you can have live chat. It's it's not like. A bot cannot, like, can be not automated, frankly. Um, but, like, one at Howard Flowers doing e-commerce uh, through Messenger. Uh, all the Messenger apps have opened up their APIs. Uh, WhatsApp is going to be also opening up soon. Um, messaging apps are interactive. The most used apps on the App Store. I just want to go through this really quickly because I want to show you the actual examples. So our platform, we created over 20,000 businesses are using us. Uh, over 20 million messages are sent, uh, growing rapidly. Uh, open rates, as I've said, email, typical open rates, 20%. Messenger and CTRs, 1% to 3%. Messenger, 80% open rates, 10 to 30% CTRs. So it's like 10x of what you would get in email. Um, and here are some examples. So this is a broadcast that we did ourselves inside Messenger about a product update that we did. So typically, uh, we sent over 3,000 messages, got 83% open rate, and 13% click-through rate. So it's a freaking product update. Like, you shouldn't get 13% CTR. So. Another example, uh, I love this one. Uh, these guys are uh, a public, they, they are doing like content for, uh, about health for teenagers, and they sent 14 broadcasts in a week. So two broadcasts a day. So they've sent over 20,000 messages, 84% open rate, and the most important part, 14 broadcasts, one week, and they get 10% CTR on each broadcast. That's incredible. So talk a little bit about the nitty gritty. Like when, um, when you say broadcast, when do you have the ability to message people? Is it if they've, if they've liked your page, you can message them, or do they yeah. have to currently be on their so page? That's a page? great question. A lot of people ask, like, how can I message all the people who like my page? You cannot. That's not possible. That's like not how the API works. Uh, what you can do is you can message people who have messaged you or somehow interacted with your page on Messenger. And there are several ways to do that, how to grow your subscribers. Basically, it would employ the same strategies that you would do for building an email list, uh, like a lead magnet or uh, having some kind of a something of value that the person has to reach out to you in Messenger, on Messenger to actually get it. So you'd literally put an ad saying, hey, message us if you want this amazing yeah. piece of content. You can, you, can, you can do, if you don't have an audience already, you can use ads. If you already have a following, you can, uh, for example, link to your Messenger page on your social media. If you have a website, you can do like opt-in widgets, the same as email. Like you can have an opt-in widget that says, hey, do you want to get like three, uh, seven free guitar lessons? And instead of entering the email, there is one button. Mm. Like, get the, get the free lessons. You press the button, conversation starts uh, automatically. Like, it's one button. You don't have to enter anything. So they press a button, the conversation starts. Now you can message that person. When that person replies to that conversation, you get their info, like first name, last name, user profile picture, uh, gender, language, et cetera. So lots of it. And then, so you've opened this conversation. You have the ability either then to engage them in an automated fashion through some sort of script that you've sort of written with a sort of choose your own adventure kind of yeah. mentality. Or you can also have manual at that point. Can you, can yes. you also have the ability to, to chat manually? It's, it's both of those. So uh, you, it depends on the business. So if you have, for example, one of the, uh, let me, let me, I'm going to get to that example uh, and say how you can actually use manual chat to get more sales through Messenger. So last example, Revealed Recordings, um, they do like 30 second 
previews. It's a, it's like one of the biggest uh, EDM music labels uh, in UK. So they use ManyChat to broadcast to their audience like 30 second uh, sneak previews of the upcoming singles, like every week. So they did three broadcasts in three weeks. Uh, so not quite like Emoji Health, not like two times a day, one time a week. Um, they've sent 18,000 messages. The open rates, the fans love it. The open rates are 88%, but guess like how many people actually clicked to listen to the 30 second preview on SoundCloud? 13%. It's 56%. That's crazy. <laughs> So and I had to recheck that data because I, I didn't believe that like that was the engagement, but it is. People like because we know exactly when the person clicked because we hash the link so it goes through us. So um, yeah, it's 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 content. So people love if if people love your content, you can get crazy engagement on Messenger. Um, if if we're talking about the money, actually like. Digital Marketer was one of like was one of the first to embrace our platform and talk heavily about it on their own conference and uh, they did they they did so because they ran a small test they spent seven hundred dollars uh, on Facebook ads and they directed the traffic to a conversation where they sold their like Lab HQ subscription so in like I think in four four days they've made they've made like three hundred uh, thirty five hundred in sales in three days, so they they got the, like five hundred percent like ROI and they just went crazy about it. So they're like now using us really really heavily. Another one is Frank Kern. He sold his I think his mastermind. He's he spent uh, three thousand on ads. Uh, I think he. Like there, there was an optimization problem. I would do it like he directed the traffic not to the conversation itself, but to a landing page where you had to actually convert uh, into a conversation. But still, he got over ten thousand in sales, but it took him thirteen days. So uh, iStack Training soon to have a bot on the Facebook page. You can uh, <laughs> you can check us out there because we're definitely going to be implementing this. The, uh, the 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 one guy that like is the messenger alchemist is Sean Patrick Simpson. He was selling uh, his uh, training course and he spent uh, two thousand uh, on uh, Facebook ads and made ten thousand in uh, four days. Uh, he talked about his case uh, on the digital, like, he got that case uh, right at the conference. So he started running uh, the ads, like, a few days before the conference, and he got, like, these crazy results. So Digital Marketer even pulled him up and said, like, you got to talk about these results. And he did, and we, we share his story, like, uh, right now it's, uh, it's the best time to get on, on, on a new channel like this, like, in, in six months, in a year. It's gonna be everyone. The prices are gonna rise. It's it's the same. Like it's always the same. Like with any marketing channel. So how is it the same though in a way? Because aren't they sort of your audience in a way? Like how is it just because Facebook is gonna limit the number of yeah. messages people can receive, so therefore there'll be some scarcity there? I think it it all like it, yes, it is your audience. Like and you can say like on Instagram it's your audience and like on Twitter it's your audience, but the more people subscribe to other pages, the more messages they receive, the less attention you, you get. Uh, so I guess that uh, it's like the more, the more people use any channel, the less effective it becomes. It's like it's Makes a rule. Sense, yeah. So uh, we can talk about like what are the mechanisms of that, but I think like right now we are using ourselves, like we have the way that many chatbot right now works when you subscribe, uh, you, uh, we subscribe you to a 20 minute delay and then we send you another follow up message because uh, Facebook policies is really important to us. We work with the Facebook engineering team very closely and help them test all of the APIs that they are putting out because we are one of the biggest platforms uh, on it. And uh, the compliance rules are pretty simple. You have 24 hours after a user interaction to send whatever you like anything that is legal. Uh, after 24 hours, you can send only content that the person subscribed to. 
So they define the content like uh, uh, productivity, uh, news, and there was a third one uh, that's also like, like calendar invites or, or something like this. So uh, you cannot send like ads and promotions after 24 hours. Uh, but the way you interact with your, and like, I think it's, it's a very reasonable like rule because you don't want people like be spammed to death and like that channel will just stop working. So the way that you do actual messenger marketing is you subscribe people to actual content uh, that they like blogging, uh, blog posts that you put out, um, YouTube videos um, that might interest them. And when they interact with that, Open it, open the link, uh, send you a message. There's 24 hours when you can start the automation to actually like do the sale that you like, and then you can fish, you can get them back again with another piece of content and yeah. reopen that window. Yeah, that's as well. that's basically how you do it. Uh, and like we are uh, the like we were the first ones to actually implement the drip campaigns cool. inside Facebook Messenger. Um, you, you asked about live chat, and so Frank Kern uh, on the, the, the previous slide, um, so he actually, what he did is, I think is pretty clever, because he ran the ads to Facebook Messenger, to, to a landing page that led, led to Facebook Messenger, uh, and he used automation to pre-qualify the lead. So he asked three questions on a, every incoming lead, like, hey, do you have a business? Yes or no? Two replies. If the person clicked yes, he says, like, cool. Um, do you want more sales or do you want more leads? You press one of those. And then the third question is, like, uh, what, what's your, like, monthly budget? And when you get to that question, you have a qualified lead that's right now looking at, your mess like at their messenger that just press the button that they have over $5,000 in the budget. And you, get, you can configure ManyChat to send you a notification every time you have a qualified lead coming in. So basically, you just set this up, and then you open your phone, and you get notifications when you get uh, new leads that are qualified. And you can just start chatting with them, because we also have live chat. So you can start like, hey, John. Because they're uh, qualified at the five yeah, so, dollar so, level, or they're, whatever. they're qualified. They answered the like free questions. Now you can like, and you you come in human takeover. Like it's not the bot. It's like you actually typing in and saying, like, "Hey, do you want to have a 15 minute call about your digital marketing mm -hmm. uh, like challenges?" And they can reply to you, "Oh, is this a bot?" Like, no, it's actually me. Like, do you yeah. want to have a call right now at 15 minutes, and we are gonna see like if if it's if it's good for you or not? And they're like, "Okay." Like, what's your number? They typed in the number, you, you just call them and that's it. You, you, just, you just got an automated lead from a Facebook ad that's qualified right into your phone at the like, perfect time to reach out to them. Amazing, so I wanna connect this just a little bit more with our audience. So this is a, you know, this conference has a lot of e-commerce people. There are a lot of sort of um, media arbitragers out there who are just doing sort of, uh, you know, buying on, on different traffic sources and, and running it direct to offers. Who, who else, who in our audience is this something that, is, you know, obviously I'm going to apply this uh, on iStack Training. I think it's a no-brainer. It's going to be anyone running Edu or, or you know, education or, or these kinds of things where you, you, have a, you have your own page. Like, who else in our audience? I have a few examples here. So, like, talk about how it could be used for e-commerce, for instance, someone who's built out a store. Yes, yeah, so f I think for e-commerce, it's, uh, it's a great channel because you can actually work if it's a, uh, there are different types of e-commerce. If it's a high ticket sale, you can actually work with a person uh, and work with their objections before they make the sale. And like that increases conversions heavily. Um, if, it's, if you want to automate everything, then you can actually also work with objections of the person, but automatically. So you would send them more materials about the product, but they have to subscribe to it. Mm. So if they want to learn about like your magic gadget or something, or the area that you're selling in, you can subscribe them, you can drip them, and that's now your audience, and they are gonna buy from you much more likely than anything else. So I would, I would use it. We are working on a sh direct Shopify integration at this point, uh, so you would be able to, if it's 24 hour, inside 24 hours, you would be able to do cart abandonment automation right inside Messenger, so you, you would get a message, hey, did you wanna still buy that item or not, et cetera. Um, that's not 
um, there, there is like there is the delivery options, shipments, uh, updates. Shopify already does them. Uh, we are gonna, but, but like their platform is not directed at marketers. Like it's more about like hey, uh, send messages to your to people who bought bots about like shipment orders, etc. Uh, we think it's a great way to engage with them again. So you would send a shipment update, and if the person interacts, then you can start the new automation to maybe possibly upsell, cross-sell, et cetera, because the 24-hour 24 24-hour 24 window is still open. And imagine something with lead gen could be quite interesting, too. I know there's some solar lead generator, generators in the audience and lots of people doing other kinds of lead gen. I, one thing that I'm interested in in that example, where you can potentially really have a, have a qualifying conversation where you answer a series of questions, a lot of lonely people out there. They, you know, will, will you know, love love chatting generally. Um, where does the rubber meet the road? Like, do the sales happen on Messenger, or like, can the sales happen on Messenger, or is it, or is it generally at this point best designed to warm up a lead and then send it through to an actual website where purchases happen? Yeah, people, um, uh, like people in the West, like think that Messenger is some kind of like a toy. Like in Asia people buy houses on Messenger. Like, people buy cars on WeChat. And uh, that's the world that we are going directly into. And that's the world that Facebook wants us to live in because they want the Messenger to be the one-stop, like, the solution to communication between customers, like, C2C and B2C. And uh, so, Yes, definitely you can have sales on Messenger. Um, I think it's, it's, like, it's the same as uh, mobile sales. Mobile sales are growing, everybody's getting comfortable with them. Um, and now you can actually like, talk to the person before the sale and if the person says, okay, send me, like, s send me the payment link, you send them the payment link. They just go inside, they pay for it uh, on a separate, uh, the, the web page opens inside Messenger itself, so you don't even le uh, leave uh, for Safari. And Messenger has its own Messenger payments platform, so if you're selling anything physical in the US, um, you will be able to actually integrate with that platform, so people, you will be able to send the, res the invoice uh, inside Messenger, and the person, if he has his credit card attached to Messenger, just puts a thumb and the transaction is done. He doesn't leave the messenger at all. Crazy. So, and Messenger is heavily pushing like people to add their credit cards and debit cards to their accounts uh, through like peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So, right now in the U.S., you can send uh, money uh, to your friends uh, on Messenger just by typing like, "Hey, I want to send five dollars," and like it, it, it's done. So when Messenger has more people uh, with their credit cards and like Messenger payments is going to be a thing, you're going to be paying for things on Messenger with their thumb. Interesting. So you know, if I'm going to tell my mom about this technology, she's going to be like, oh, bots are so annoying. I, or not just my mom, probably a lot of people would say that. A lot of people would say, oh, I don't want this thing knocking at me and telling me that, I, that, that it wants to chat with me. But like, let's talk about like a little bit of the, the mind switch that happens with, with messenger marketing and, and maybe why that's not the right perspective to have. Yeah, I, I personally, I hate the word bot. And uh, I think the whole industry like w went into a very uh, incorrect direction uh, with like bots and AI and NLP. I, I love those areas. I think we are going to incorporate a lot of those things in the future. But at this point, what like the audience, the just the marketer needs to know is that like forget bots, forget chat bots. It's not about this. Messenger is a new channel of communication. It's 10x more engaging than anything out there. And if you want to be like ahead of the curve, if you want to engage with the audience, if you're like if your audience uses Facebook Messenger, that's another thing. Like somebody maybe from like countries where Facebook Messenger is not that popular, you, you shouldn't use it, obviously. But Facebook Messenger is the number one messaging app in the US, in Canada, in Italy, in, in, a, lot, in a lot of countries. And uh, in Thailand, in Indonesia, so mostly North America, uh, Europe is like half WhatsApp, half Messenger, and Southeast Asia is all Messenger. 
Um, you, like you basically j just like this. This is a new channel of communication, and you should learn how to use it, how to actually engage with people through it, because uh, email is not going to be an option in the future. So, and already it's just it has uh, diminishing returns, right? You, you just uh... so one question I had about Facebook was. Uh, how does the, how does Messenger integrate with actually f with Facebook ads? How can interactions within Facebook Messenger actually come to inform your actual your outside of Messenger actual your Facebook advertising? Can you can yeah. you drive them to a place and, and set it, set the pixel to record that they've had a conversation? Yeah. So um, the way you uh, like connect Facebook ads with Messenger is first of all there is a an actual like destination. Messenger is an ad destination right now at this point. So there is a new type of ad, which is not actually new. It's like it's been around almost for a year, but n like not a lot of people know about this because nobody knows how to use it properly. And that's like the opportunity. It's called the click to messenger ad. And basically what it does is it creates an ad. When you click it, a conversation starts. Like that, that's it. The person doesn't leave the, like for a landing page. You click it. Conversation starts. That's it, uh, and you can automate that conversation. So you can actually set up. So there are five different ads, five for, five different offers that lead to five different automations, and it's going to be the same page chatting with the, those people, and it's going to be the same list. But you can like everything that applies to email applies to this thing. So you can tag those people, you can segment those people, you can put them into flows. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so what's what's Facebook's general stance in in your experience right now w with messenger marketing? Is it one of those that you know Facebook's? Oh, you know we we heard the last panel with Maria. Uh, you know there's always an interesting relationship between uh, what's happening with with CPA advertisers, for instance. Is Messenger? You know obviously m Facebook wants people to get into messenger marketing. Is it is is it a good re time for that reason because it, it's fresh? Yes. So right now, yes, Facebook always wants people to start new, using new channels because it's where their revenue comes from. So they are at this point uh, very welcoming of all people coming onto the messenger platform and starting to use it and starting to getting to get results. Of course, in the future, uh, Facebook is the platform. They need to make money. They will make part of it uh, more. Um, paid. Yeah. So instead of like getting 500% ROI, you will start getting, I don't know, 150% ROI. Um, and, uh, but, but, but yeah, that's, that's like at this point, Facebook is very welcoming. Um, I would expect it to start changing gradually as more people start to embrace the platform. Uh, but at this point, like it's, it's just like, it's it's much more welcoming that everyone would expect. Yeah. So everyone out there uh, is. I wanted to talk quickly too, just about your company and and the growth of your company. Like, uh, how how many people are you now? Uh, we are right now over 15 people. And you've grown probably pr pretty quickly, I imagine. Yes. That's pretty exciting. And then and then the use has just skyrocketed. You're saying it's been like it's been a pretty wild ride. Yeah. So so basically a year ago we had zero companies using us because we launched on the like our product hunt launch which we consider like one of the like the official one uh, was on 26th of May so a little bit over a year ago we just launched now it's over 20,000 businesses so amazing and you've got digital marketer yeah. digital on your, marketer on your jock they just love it yeah uh, you've got uh, You've got Mixergy as well, right? You've got Mixergy, Andrew, Andrew Warner, Warner building yeah, a bot it's, academy. He, he was he was our first paid client, so uh, he reached out to us in July last year, uh, and he was really ahead of the curve. Like I don't know, like why bots excited him so much, but uh, he was our first paid client. He is now doing Bot Academy, teaching other people how to build bots, Facebook bots for their clients, um, and yeah, really, really. Implementing it really successful. I just got a broadcast from him. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so if people want to learn more, so say they wanted to do, I don't know, like a, a bot workshop, a build a, a messenger workshop. They wanted to build their first. Where would you recommend they do this? <laughs> this is a setup question. Um, Eric invited me to join him for a workshop tomorrow uh, to help, like, 
build a bot in one hour. Uh, I'm going to be joining him. And uh, yeah, every, anyone who wants to actually experience what messenger marketing is, what, uh, how can you build a bot yourself uh, using a platform, a visual drag and drop platform without coding uh, like ManyChat, uh, welcome to join us tomorrow. Um, yeah, would, would be really excited to see everyone. Tickets are still available. What? Tickets are still available, iStackTraining.com slash live. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you so much for coming by today. It was a really interesting conversation, and I urge everyone to go out there and, and, and maybe show that link one more time of where people can go and, uh, and just start kind of playing around with sure. it. Sure. It's, it's manychat.com slash AWE. It will lead you to the page where you have to press the open in Messenger and you will be able to actually experience our bots and uh, the specific interaction that we've built for AWE. It's a small one, but it's, it's specific to you. So yeah, everyone welcome to join it. Nice, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's super exciting when a new medium appears. And so thanks everyone, thanks for, for listening and uh, we'll see you soon.